hate Instagram, it's me. T. Wendell Patterson's taking the train to Tibet. Had a long day today. And it's cold tonight. It's cold as morning, but it's cold, cold tonight. Man, I can't, I'm gonna put like three, four blankets on the thing. Uh, but I gotta get some stuff out. Hey, this is a, this is a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a Monday, which makes it a, a me day. That's the wrong, wrong pocket. So I was out all day long, man, you know. I did no regular thing with the, with, 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 you know, with my peoples, you know, the Bible Society for the Age, the Wisdoms. Uh, this morning, and then I had to leave right away because I had a problem with my network. Look, we're in rural, <laughs> I should say, we're, we're in the, well, look, we're in the Eastern Cape of Southern Africa, which makes things a little too complicated with communications. What's this I have in here? Oh, that's something I got. I was shop, so I had to, well, anyway, I had to go to King to, to try to get this straight with the thing with them, because they had to, anyway, this, I had to go to, to town, which I wasn't wasn't wanting to do. So when I was there, I, I, well, I had to shop for food. But then I also went to Ladies Pride. That's a little place that they have uh, stuff, you know, you know incense. Hold on, incense. Let me. Do I? Let me light an incense here. I mean, like I used to do. Let me light an incense. Here. Just, just, just be patient. It's a Monday. It's a me day. Like Tuesdays. It's a it's U.S. Uh, U.S. Day politics, whatever it is. Um, on Wednesdays, it's world stuff. On Thursdays, it's audio drama. Oh, audio drama is going to be wonderful this year. Woo! Well, the rest of this year and all the next year is going to be unbelievable. Uh, Friday is like a wrap up, you know, whatever happened, to, to whatever in the days. And uh, Saturdays is whatever it is. Sundays, so whatever it is too. But I do do some reading on Sunday. Oh, with my new suit. Ah. Um, suit to blanket on, man, because it's cold. Right. Wait a second, I gotta light an incense. Light an incense, I might as well. Oh, I got a candle. Well, let me light the incense first. Um, I'm gonna light the incense. I got a lighter. I actually have matches, but, you know, I'm being lazy, so let me do the lighter right now. Which one is this? This is called, oh, it's called success. Yeah, right. I never believe in any of these things, but they, they call stuff, you know what I mean? And I'll put it in my incense holder here. I don't know if you can see it. That this from, uh, oh, let me not burn the thing. Get that from uh, Oro, Oro of India. You know, Oro of India. Oh, hey, this is a candle. You can light a candle too. Of course, what I got from Ladies Pride, a bunch of things. But uh, that's a small size. Oh, I got some more incense. But they only they only had one kind. Which one is this it's called? Uh, protection. Well, you know, it's one thing I learned when I travel. I know, especially when I travel. Oh well, even when I was young, I know how to protect myself. Certain things you do. I told you all this before, but uh, first thing you do, you don't wear well. Your shoes can't be, you can, look, your shoes, you don't wear good shoes, don't, don't do the watch, don't do jewelry, whatever they have you, because, you know, people think you got money, and so then they do stuff to you. But I'm looking for something in here. Here it is. Got some other stuff in there. Got some pencils, because when I do the audio drama thing, I start an audio drama, create my elite unit. This might be the last, I shouldn't say it like that, but I've had a lot of audio drama units. Uh, concerns in my audio drama career that started in uh, uh, 1989 officially, I guess, even though I was before then. Uh, but I uh, had a lot of groups, uh, the most notable groups. It's like, it's like, it's like you know, no, Prince never got over the group, the, Rev the Revolution, and it's his first group. Right? Well, my first real audio drama group that I <coughs> mentored or whatever have you was Creative Unity. Uh, and well, hard to beat them. <laughs> so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't put anything. I don't put any of my audio drama groups against. You know, I don't, I don't rate them against each other. Nothing like that. But um, but you know, there. Because I've had some really great situations. Uh, unbelievable. And audio drama itself. Uh, come on, thing. Well, it's lighting. But it's just a start. It, 
I broke, it was a big candle I broke off. See, but I got this new candle holder for ladies' pride, you know? And so I'm going to test it out. If I get the candle light. Okay, look, let me just stop wasting time here. So uh, this is a me day, and uh, like I said, this is the end of a, a, a nine-month, a, a nine-month. Tomorrow starts the the, uh, the 10 month, uh, October the 10th month. Oh, this is going to, okay, I guess it'll be all right. It starts the 10th month. Let me try to put some thing here so it has some stability in this thing. And the 10th month is like a, a one and zero is one, so it's like a, but a, the, the October is like a preview month of next year. So what happens in this 10th month, like think of it, think of it as like whatever in energies you put into this 10th month, Will, uh, will definitely manifest or whatever in the next year. I'm, I'm putting all that stuff on there, but I learned a lot of this stuff from Lloyd Strayhorn. You know, numbers and you guy. Hung out with him in the 80s for a little while. There you go. Hey, look at that. You got a candle. I'm going to turn the light out after I'm finished here. So, because I like to meditate before I go to bed. When I say meditate, I mean just thunk, think. I don't, uh, whatever. Uh, but what I want to tell y'all, uh, what did I say? Oh, okay, who I am. <laughs> uh, first of all, let me identify myself completely. I'm an American African made in the South Bronx, New York City. Look, that's some candle wax fell on me. I heard people do freaky things with candle wax, man. They put it on there, let it drip on their bodies and stuff like that. I guess that's that's the minor freak thing that 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 that, that, that Diddy and them be have been doing. Oh well, you know I have a theory about that. Okay, let me tell you a theory that I'm gonna mention. Okay, I'm gonna mention uh, Eddie Murphy, but it's not not not, not well. I guess you know Eddie Murphy got busted with this uh, transsexual whatever you know some dude. But here's my theory. Now remember Eddie got famous when he was about twenty twenty one anyway. So. It's like when you're young, you know, you might see a, 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 a girly magazine, you know what I mean? Or you might get some playing cards with the girlies, like, like that. And so you get curious, right? So now if you get a lot of money all of a sudden, he goes out to Hollywood and he hears about a he, she, or whatever it is. And so instead of looking at a he, she in a magazine, I saw, well, let me tell you something, just one, one, one little thing. So I have to, I meander, so you can leave right away because I got to meander my whole thing. Um, I was taking an extension course from uh, Trenton State College. It's when I was in the Air Force. It was a guy in the, it, there was a guy in the class, one of the class I was in. I think it was a philosophy class. Anyway, he was a he was a he's a photographer for the police, like that. And he's and he I don't know. Sometimes people just like to talk to me. You know? I think I have some sort of some sort of priest vibe, but I don't tell nobody nothing. You know what I mean? So anyway. So he, he, he said, you want to see something? And he opens his book and he shows me all these, because he had mug shots or whatever. There's mug shots and all kinds of things like that. One of them was like one of these he, she, you know, a, a dude with a, with a penis and stuff like that. And like, none of this stuff, I'm going like, eh. In fact, by that time I had been a lab technician, so I did autopsies and stuff like that. So nothing really moves me, let's put it that way. Plus you grew up in South Bronx, which I did, you know. Which, which explains that when I say, uh, um, I'm, I'm an, um, an American African. I mean, I'm an American, meaning I hold an American passport. See that? I hold an American passport, and but I was made in the uh, Mount Haven section of the of the Bronx, which is the South Bronx. Here. It's the real South Bronx, and uh, so that's where I was made in, in America, right? But what was the African thing? How come you're not an African American? Because because I'm not hyphenated. Because <laughs> I don't know what people come up with. People call what they want to call because they want to categorize you. Me, I identify myself, okay? I'm just saying, I've always identified myself. I've been with all these alliterations, you no know, black, uh, Afro-American, uh, I never, all that stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I, I particularly, you know, Negro is kind of interesting only because, you know, that's the real, the, you know, you, you were Africans when you came to, 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 to the Americas, right? But then... Uh, because of the number of things they started calling you Negro. So if you're a Negro, a real Negro, right, then you basically, your lineage started in, in, in after the slave trade there, or during the slave trade, whatever it is. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so, so the, but, but what the African, I'm an American African, right? The African is not actually, I know it sounds like it's the continent, 
True enough, right? But what it is, it's a mentality. I have an African mentality, and I've always had an African mentality, to tell you the truth. You know? I mean, I've, I'm not getting into that right now, some other time. Okay. Which means, uh, for me, right, in this day and age, after my, all my whatever, it means this. Uh, one of my heroes is Mangalisa Robert Sabuque. He's, a, he's, a, he's an uh, South African, a Zanian, whatever. He's, a, it's just, he's an African. Uh, well, he was an African. Uh, in fact, uh, well, he's an African. But he's, he, uh, he's the one, when you, had, you heard about the, the Shawfield, Shawfield, Shawfield Massacre when they burned their passports, well, he's the one that, let's say, he per perpetrated that. Let's put it that way. But, you know, I, I went to Fort Hare, and he was at Fort Hare. He was graduated from Fort Hare, blah, blah, blah. I said, I went to Fort Hare. I didn't say I graduated from Fort Hare. Uh, and uh, one of the things, um, I read I read stuff, you know, and one of the things he said was that, because he founded the PAC, the Pan, PAC, Pan African Congress, uh, after he left the ANC, because out of principle, because the ANC was in principle, and I won't get into it right now. The point is, uh, one of the things he said in his writings, was that to be African, you have to have humanity. So I have an African mentality, I have a humanitarian, a humanity mentality. Now as far as me traveling, whatever have you, uh, I'm not a globalist, I'm not a, uh, yeah, I, uh, there's, this, there's this movie called Watch Sex, and the guy says, I'm just going to sort of paraphrase, he says, sometimes I'd be Muslim, sometimes, no, he says, sometimes I'd be Democrat, sometimes I'd be Muslim, but I'm always black. That sums it up, right? But another one of my heroes is uh, Robert F. Williams. And uh, he's the one who wrote Negroes with Guns, right? And he was on the land. We started a radio station in Cuba. Ta-da! Now you know. He's a radio man. I'm a radio man. That's what I think. But he called himself, which I call myself, an internationalist. And that's what I am. I'm an internationalist. And I'm also a Nowist. I went through that yesterday. A Nowist means that I, I live in the moment. And I'll get into that some other time too, but I live in the moment. So I'm not a, I'm a nowist. What happened now, I don't care what, I do care what happened in the past, but I don't do the Sankofa thing, you know, it's, as an informed in form kind of thing, I do that. But I don't be, you know, dreaming about the future. The now informs me about the future. The now, uh, it, it, well, uh, I apply principles of the past, but I lived through a lot of this past that people are talking about right now. Anyway, so I carry an American passport, which makes me an American. I don't care what other people think and say what they will. It makes me an American. Oh, in this passport too, by the way. I have a visa. It's a, it's a relative's permit. I'm waiting for my permanent resident, but it's a relative permit, which means I'm married to an African. Which makes me a Pan-African for real, because I'm married to an African. <laughs> I'm a real Pan-African, and I live in Africa. I've been living here since 2000. 2002? Yeah. 2003. 2003. So I've been living here a long time. And right now I'm in Dubaza because I got tasking to do. I uh, I hang out with the with the with the older folks, with the elders, you know what I mean? The wisdoms as I call it. And I I do work with the younger people, this, this is what I what I do. And uh, we're changing where we're altering in my tasking, I'm altering the culture. So I have these things that I gotta do. But let's back to me. So 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 that's what I claim, that's what I am, because you have to name yourself. That's the whole thing, you know. I'm wearing, I'm wearing this Eastern Cape hat that was made for me when I was in, living in Cape Town. Anyway, uh, and look, I got my artifice. I'm an artivist. An artifice. Artivist? You know, you have an activist and an artivist. I'm an artivist, right? That's uh, Dr. DC's uh, work. I like that. And so we just, we are building, I was there today on the site, we're building a theater. Well, it's, it's regular or whatever have you. I wish they would... I gotta talk to him, man. I gotta redesign this. I, I have, a, have to have extensions to this theater. Anyway, so I have a theater. When I say I have a theater, I mean we have a theater in Zebalaza, in the, in, 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 the, in the village, actually. I'm in, I'm in Dumbaza, which we call a location. Well, they're all locations, but Dumbaza is, is a township. Dumbaza Township is just really, to me, a location. To me, a location is sort of uh, uh, less. Like when you have when you have real townships or real sprawling like where the shacks in the back or whatever have you that's that's one thing. Location is a little bit more breathable than that, right? And right now we're in the Hotel House. And the Hotel House is like a an original RDP house, you know, with the concrete. Looks like a jail cell. It feels like a jail cell. That's why it's so cold in here. Anyway, uh, so uh, 
So my work, uh, my identity is wrapped up in my work. And what I try to do with my work is uh, I change the culture. You know, to, to audio drama, we can change the culture. Uh, of course, see, South Africa is famous. Their culture is like drinking. <laughs> and uh, there's not a whole lot of reading going on, you know. Uh, and they're sort of set in their ways. I want to say, well, set in their ways. When I say they, there's this whole thing where uh, people, like they'll, they'll come to South Africa and say they're flying to Joburg, then they fly over the Eastern Cape and go to Cape Town, or they're flying to Cape Town and go over to Joburg, you know, go to, to the park or, the, or go to, well, then they say they've been to South Africa, right? Well, I guess you've been to South Africa, but I'm in South Africa for real, you know? This is the reality, you know? And it's like, it's interesting, it's like every place. Like, I, I grew up in New York, so like a lot of people say, oh, in New York, I want to get to New York. I want you to, and then, then you realize New York is New York. It's like London is London and Paris is Paris. And I guess whatever is happening in Germany is Germany. Whatever happened in China, China, you know? But these big cities are not the reality of the, of the nations, you know what I mean? So the people here in, say, in the Eastern Cape, you know, they're not living the life that you live in Joburg. They're not living the life that you live in in, in, in Cape Town. Not even living the life that you live in, in well, I won't say East London because they are, well, or, 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 or Durban or something like that, you know? They're living the life, they're living, they're, they're living a pretty poor life. When I say poor, I mean economically poor, no, but it, it, people always laugh and they're having fun. You know, we create here, you know what I mean? So, uh, so I am a creator. No, I shouldn't say that. I am an, I am a person that uh, make sure that uh, the atmosphere is um, of such that you can be safe and you can you can you can you can change the culture from 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 from, from the from the bottom you know forward like that rather than some other ways that you people want to change the culture they want to uh, change by changing laws or they they think that they can uh, uh, make some spiffy uh, video and whatever it is. Now that's not how people work, you know. People, they, those things come and go. I'm talking about the videos and stuff like that. Those, those things that they flash in front of your face, like you know, on TV, they show the Joe Berg life or the whatever life like that. The high life. I'm say the high life because I've been reading this book uh, in Nigeria with the hands of high. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, the point is, uh, a lot of times you define uh, your location by the the, the big attractions. You know, like a, like like the trinkets that they put in front of your face, and uh, but things remain the same. And now we still live in a feudal system. I mean, you know, you still have your your big your, your people that lord it over, lord get it, lord it over, uh, feudal system, uh, lord it over everybody else, and they get away with it because everybody else they just living their life, and they just keeping their head down because they don't want to be called out, they don't want to be wrong, they don't want to be wronged, um, and so that's just the way it is. But we here in the Eastern Cape, or we here in Lakota House, we here uh, in uh, the Baza Society. Of, um, well, let's, let's call it, let's call it the Baza Art Society. Uh, we 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 are a, a movement, you know. We are a movement with, without without uh, how you say, without NGO status. We are a movement without uh, without an office. <laughs> we don't do the office thing. You know? Lakota House is just is a community house, but it's, uh, we don't worry about the point. Uh, but the point is, you know. As long as we have communications, which I had a problem with today, which is why I had to go down to, to King. Uh, but we got it all straight, and uh, now I know what to do, whatever it is. That's why I can come to you now. And uh, I'm not going to be long, but just to say uh, that uh, every Monday, talk a little bit about me and my, I don't want to say my background, but what motivates me to continue as I am, to continue uh, on, uh, uh, hanging with the downtrodden, right? Don't worry, I've, I've, I've had a life... I, you know, I've, I've owned a very big house, three-story house, swimming pool, all that stuff. stuff. Yeah, drove a Fiat Sports Spider at one point. You know, I went, went, went to the Ivy League. Well, I guess, yeah, Rutgers, I guess, is the Ivy League school. Went to Ivy League, graduated from my Ivy League school, you know, hung out with the with the elites, you know, been in mansions and, you know, all that, you know, the, 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 whole, the whole thing. None of it moves me. <laughs> what moves me is people's who are in struggle uh, and are continue to fight the good fight for their ultimate liberation. Uh, I will say this last thing so we can get off here so you know we won't be too bored. But uh, 
when I told you I had a big house, and one, one time I had, I was working, I was uh, doing stage manager in New York, and it was a particularly tough uh, situation I was in at the time. And I told her, I look, I just got to take the day off and, and go home. So this was in New York. So I went, I lived in Somerville, New Jersey, the house in Somerville, New Jersey. Went home. It was a beautiful day. Nobody was home at the time. Cause I, had, I, lived at, I lived in a house with like, well, I moved, first when I was in college, I lived with like five women. But then this house, we only had two, three women. And it, was, it don't matter. I lived, I have lived, let's put it that way. But um, it was a beautiful day. Nobody was home. I was laying in a pool. And I was going, uh, you know, Anthony, this is, this is nice. Kid from the South Bronx makes good, you know, uh, what's this, the, the upper middle class, whatever the, whatever it was, you know, black. Uh, they, they call these days black excellence, you know. Uh, that's good. But I said, but you know, this is not, not me. This is just not me. And uh, it, it, soon after that, I then chucked it all. Put back down to nothing, and then before you know it, I built myself back up. Then, uh, then I had a really cushy job right before I left. That was when I, I couldn't be fired. Nothing like I was doing a great job. That was when I was uh, arts director for WBI Radio. And uh, but then I'm going like, yeah, but I'm not an administrator. I'm an audio dramatist. <laughs> I, I got to do my art, you know. So I told them I was going to leave. Nobody, nobody would leave me, of course. But um, <laughs> to the very last day, nobody believed me. I got on a plane. I was out of there, right? Started traveling again with nothing. Beep. God, just, just the way I is. I uh, came back every once in a while. I actually have a title. I'm, I'm Austrian Emeritus for WBI Radio. And that's going to come to fruition just uh, hopefully what I'm doing right now. This is because I have a radio station down here that I'm, well, an uh, internet radio station here that I might be dealing with. And that and that will be yeah, what I call a... Uh, uh, sibling stations will be having because they, they're 99.5 here and, and uh, BIA is 99.5 in New York so it's going to be kind of interesting if that's happening but the point is uh, I never I've because I don't want any more South Bronxes which means that my ultimate liberation or the ultimate liberation I'm looking for is the liberation of the downtrodden so that we don't have to go through that no more um, because everything else has been constant, you know. You have the the, the, the lords and the whatever, you know, the the, the big people, the big people, and they, they have the same playbook. You know what I mean? There's still a feudal system. Oh, throughout all these years, nothing has changed. It's just that now, uh, now that they, they I, I don't know if they finished on black people, but now they they start to eat their own. You know, the, the people that they call the white people, they they when they put their little white supremacist doctrine in place, then the white people thought that they were you know included in that, but now they realize. Ooh, you know the robber barons, those those kind of people like that, and, and the, the churchy kind, of, you know those 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 people in so-called real power. Even even you people like uh, your uh, what do you call that, the, the Billy the Gates, you know, who you all think you know, no, they answer to somebody else too. So you want what you need to do is you need to get rid of the system. But if you're going to get rid of the system, you got to replace with another system. That's what I'm working on. But I, but but I I know one thing, you know. They've got the justice system locked up. They got the financial system locked up. Been like that for a long time, right? They got the politics all locked up, right? Uh, so the only thing we really have is our culture, and for me, arts. That's that's the thing they can't lock up, because art, you know, is in here and it goes out there, and everybody has a different way. Of the, so I, I I I create a way that the arts. Can truly be the liberation uh, tool, the liberation vector uh, that can deliver the liberation of, of, of human beings from uh, from the the, the, the centuries of, of despotism that, that 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 keeps on they keep on fostering upon us uh, because everything is really uh, I used to say land grab it's a land grab but it's really a resource grab uh, land grab is just an easy way to say it you know so. Uh, so we just can't let them, you know, colonize or colonize your land. But most of all, you gotta uncolonize your mind, and that's what I'm, my big focus on right now is to uncolonize people's minds, and 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 uh, and, and address their bodies as far as, as far as health and stuff like that. So I can't do nothing about their spirituality. That's y'all. You know, I'm based. I'm basically. I'm an eclectic pluralist. So you know, don't worry about that trying to be putting me in some sort of religious bag or uh, religious order or religious what do you say 
uh, some code from the from from a religious sect or whatever have you. But but the body, you know, uh, and the health, you got to do that, and that's what I'm heavy into. What I'm heavy into. I've been all the, all my life because my grandmother taught me. You know, not, we eat good. <laughs> you know, we don't try to eat expensive. We eat good, uh, uh, healthy. Uh, but more importantly, is that mind, you know, and that's what I'm focused on these days. And so I got some some people that I'm working with, and uh, we'll see what happens. So that's my tea tirade for Monday, the me day. Tomorrow we deal with U.S. politics or U.S. situations. That's gonna be a laugh, right? Talk to you all later. Be well. <laughs>